So I'm O'Reilly for Fight Talk. I'm here today at MTK Brentwood. Now, is it 8 and 0? 8 and 0. That's now for the boss, Laurent Richards. How you doing, bro? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are yourself? Yeah, good, mate. Thank you. Let's talk through your performance. It's, you know, a very good performance. Yeah, just boxed behind the jab. And I mean, that's boxed, box broke him down and then saw the shot and took him out. Was that the plan? Was obviously, was it four rounder, but it was never, you know, he was never going to rush to get the stoppage when it came. It comes, you know what I mean? That's what I do, I box. And that's what boxing's about. Hit and move and not getting hit. So, um, yeah, I boxed, two instructions. And then when I needed to turn up the gears, I did. And um, I got the result that we wanted. Yeah, I had the feeling as well, you could have upped it at any sort of, any, any time you wanted, really. Yeah, that's it, yeah. But I like the process. I like the breaking down process. We so, spoke about that before, haven't we? It, yeah, yeah. It's an art in itself to be able to, to break a man down at it, will, really. It is. And um, I'll, that's what I'm going to continue doing. What's the, what's the short term run? We've you know we spoke before. Frank Warren's doing a lot more shows now, and there's yep. some big, there's some big opportunities possibly around the corner. Yep. Um, Leon McKenzie, Alan Higgins, Southern area. Yep. Is that the fight you look at next or? Um. I'm not really looking at the fights or the fighters, I'm more looking at what they have of title. And obviously if one of them fighters have the southern area, then that's the title that I'm after. I think I've been I've been told now I'm mandatory for the southern area. So Oh yeah? Yeah, so you know if that's if that's the plan that my, my team want me to go down then that's what I'm gonna have to do. So realistically that fight is September the 9th. Um, I'm sure you'll be watching that very closely. Yeah, I'm, I might go down there and watch it. Because obviously, you know Leon, Leon's a nice guy, Alan Higgins is a nice guy, so obviously I'm gonna go watch it and wish them both the best. Um, but obviously if they win the title, the person who wins it, they got something that I want, so just gonna take it from there. Um, a former stable mate of yours, Daryl Williams, English champion. Yeah. Is that the process? You're looking at Southern area, English, whoever may have it at the time, and then British, or? Yeah, it's more like Southern area, British. I want to do it the, um, well, I want to do it the traditional way. So Southern area, English, British. That's the right way to go, you know what I mean? Same with Bradley Ski did it. I want to do it that way. Yeah. Um, any idea when you'd next be out then? Uh, we're looking at September. I'm going to speak to Francis now and then he'll give me a date. But uh, September, yeah. And that'll be, that'll be a keep busy until you can get that Southern Area title fight, yeah? Yeah, it might not be the Southern Area I'm fighting for, but we'll have to wait and see. But more likely, yeah, in Southern Area. I know you're a traditionalist, that you want, you want those titles on your way up. Yeah, you know, there's, at every level there's something to learn, do you know what I mean? So Southern Area, I'll learn something. English, I'll learn something. But I just want to take every fight as it comes. So. Do you find you learn more in those four rounders? Yeah. Than you do because you're in a, in a great gym. You know, we touched on it before. Bradley Skeet just won the British title outright. Yeah. You can't get much better, you know, training with guys like that. Yeah. What would you say you learn more? Well, in the gym or in the gym, or is it all, all these four rounders and more, you know, ring time? Obviously, you can't buy yeah. it, but would you say you learn more doing do it? You know, you, I learn from everyone in the gym from prospects to, to Bradley Skeet champions. You know, what I mean, I see Bradley Skeet, Johnny Garton. I'm gonna throw in Callum Miles in there because well. <laughs> they'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? So you know, I learn a lot from all these guys, and um, so I can, so I can perform in the ring. So on fight night, so yeah. it's good. Are we going to touch on how many times I smash you to smithereens on FIFA, or are we just going <laughs> to leave that out? And we can touch into it. But you know what? The only reason why you beat me on FIFA is because you talk to me. You, you got a tactic. You talk, you talk, you talk. <laughs> Mike, you know next time. Yeah? Psychological warfare. <laughs> you know yeah. Psychological warfare. <laughs> it works. And when you score, you don't get excited. You just say very quiet, yeah. very slow, <laughs> but we have to play again very soon. Uh, no, I look more, more importantly, I look forward to seeing you back in the ring very soon and picking up titles, All right, because no you're one of the slickest boxers around, that's the truth of it, and yeah. I look forward to seeing you back in there. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Can I thank my, my sponsors of course, as well? Um, FCI Currency, um, PT Maintenance, BoxFit, Conqueror Boxing, and Cool Road Solutions Limited. Definitely, you can't do it without those guys backing you. No, so. man, those guys are great help, and um, they support me loads, so I can't um, thank them enough. Definitely. Lerone Richards, thank you much. Talking to Fight Talk. Cheers, bro. Thank you.